Hi guys, and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. This is going to be another chest farming build, but this time it's going to be for the warrior. For the build, not all the traits are useful, but they are fully optimized or getting around much quicker, with two variations. This first line, arms, um, this is where the variation will come in. So you can either take arms or strength, and I'll go through and uh, say exactly why. You might already know, because as you may have spotted, I have taken a sword and shield. Not many of these traits really matter. Um, mainly taking this one for Blade Master, which reduces the recharge on sword skills. So we're going to be able to spam Savage Leap a little bit faster, 20% I believe. And none of these other ones uh, matter. But instead of that, I can swap to your second weapon set, which will be a great sword, and it. If you take strength, then you can take death from above and you can take forceful greatsword. Again, none of the other ones particularly matter, so take whatever you want there. But um, that basically means that you'll take 50% less fall damage and your greatsword will recharge 20% faster. So it's really up to you. Unfortunately, there's not enough space to take both because you have to take Berserker due to some of these other skills that I'm using. Cool. Right, so the second line is going to be Discipline. Again, uh, not fully optimized for combat here, but um, you're going to want to take Warrior Sprint. So you'll run faster with melee weapons, which we have two sets of, which is excellent. Um, we're going to have faster weapon swap, which is amazing because if you get stuck in combat, you're going to be able to swap easily and uh, you're going to remove conditions when you swap weapons as well so if you get caught by any like blinds from the mites or whatever or vulnerability stacks or whatever else then you'll be able to just get rid of those whenever you want um, again these ones don't matter so the last one is berserker and again these don't matter i mean i've just got a standard condi build go in there um, because I'm going to be taking certain skills which i will go through now so um, you want to be taking sword and shield and great sword for your weapons, um, healing skill, whatever you want. Uh, I've taken banner of discipline here or any other banner, doesn't really matter because that's only going to be for stacking swiftness. So if you wanted to build in a little bit of boon duration or whatever on your armor, so if you've got you know, a legendary weapon you could just swap to commanders or whatever and stack up some swiftness. Um, for the second skill, I've gone for Sundering Leap. So that's another leap skill that we can use. And Bull's Charge. Again, you can use that as a kind of leap. And then Headbutt, because in the, the last patch, they increased the range to 300. So you actually go forward quite far now. And the reason we've taken Shield is because of skill 4 here, where you bash a foe with the shield and stun them. This is also very similar to Headbutt, because you charge forward and smack them with it. So you can use that as a movement skill. Um, obviously Savage Leap or the Sword and then you want to be using Whirlwind Attack and Rush. Again, armor doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's whatever if you're running power or if you're running... I suppose if you're running a power build uh, then you might want to go for Strength. Okay, so we're going to go from A to B and I will just show you uh, the kind of rotation how quick you can get around with this. Um, so yeah. There you go, so you start off with uh, Rush. And then repeat. You know, see, so it's quite, quite quick. So yeah, um, I hope that has helped and you'll be able to get a little bit quicker on your warrior so you can I'm a little bit faster and um, thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see some more then don't forget to subscribe and maybe even hit that like button so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one